Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 11, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new series, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have dropped significantly today, both the S&P and especially the Nasdaq were uh, really heavily hit, especially the Nasdaq was uh, lost around 3% of its value today. But in the S&P 500, we dropped towards the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks, we can drop to the 20 down here, just underneath 4,161. And then the middle uh, bottom of the bullish band is 4,122. So the 50 and uh, the 4,000 level should be where we'll find significant support if we were to drop to those levels. Uh, but at the moment, the middle of the bullish band is still holding. Technically, the Guinness otherwise are looking dreadful, uh, except for the stochastic that is still flat at this current stage. So we can, may well uh, pull back at this point. But otherwise, uh, 4,400 will most likely be our long-term target here. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did rally uh, all the way up towards uh, the top here at the 35,069 and then created the student star. And this could be the, a sign that we are going to tumble here in the Dow Jones and head towards the middle of the bullish band or probably even to the bottom of the bullish band, 33,500 to give or take or the 50 moving average down here, 33,250. Technically, the are turning around, they're becoming flat. So, yes, a pullback has been expected for quite some time after this basically really nice rally here. So this shooting star here is actually a very big warning. But indices are very, very difficult to short or very risky to short. So pullbacks is probably, or buying the pullbacks is probably the best uh, strategy here. So let's look at NASDAQ. So NASDAQ absolutely fell off a cliff. Uh, probably one reason is, uh, for, there are several reasons. Uh, expectations for inflation uh, are still high. People are in doubt whether or not jobs number on Friday were accurate or not. Uh, and uh, they are just waiting for the CPI numbers on Wednesday to get a clear picture whether or not there is inflation or expected inflation and so on. So inflation is something that is worrying the market. Um, if that takes off, then, uh, then the Federal Reserve has to increase the federal interest rates and that will, of course, hit uh, stocks and uh, really hard and also these indices probably especially the tech stocks as they have been the ones that have been increasing most since the last year. So this is just a, well, just a tiny pullback Consider all of this massive move here. So another thing was also that one, uh, some of the major uh, investment banks uh, downgraded, for example, uh, Facebook and, uh, and, and also Alphabet. And strangely enough, uh, to neutral instead of buying. And then, of course, it made a massive sell off of those stocks, if you can see them to basically today. It was not just Tesla that was hit, it was also, especially Facebook, that was hit really hard. But we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. This is a very, very, very bearish candlestick. So, uh, pullback from here could be expected or basically be sold into. So we will most likely find major resistance at the 20 exponential here at 3,673. Um, we'll, it probably will break this level here. So the reason why we fell towards the level is because it's a previous high over so here. If that breaks, we could drop towards uh, 13,000. And if 13,000 drops, we can drop all the way down to the 200 moving average, all the way down here at 12,000. 468. That's probably where we are going to head to. If you look at, for example, the weekly, the weekly does look even worse. And uh, if this basically breaks, then we could head all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band or probably the 50 moving average down here, which is even more bearish than in the daily. So, Yes, it is not looking really good for the Nasdaq. If you look at technical indicators, they are very are looking horrible. We are very overstretched here, but there's a lot of room still to the downside uh, if this needs to tumble even further. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX also pulled back today. We had a massive three-day rally last week, and we hit the top of the bullish band and then pulled back. We are still trading above the middle of the bullish band and if that breaks we could head towards the bottom here at 15,000 it probably will basically be the floor in this market 
Technical indicators are all over the place. So MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is, bear, is, is bullish, and the RSI is technically flat. So it's just a waiting game. Um, this will most likely not rally uh, the next few days, probably break down. And uh, yes, 50 moving average should be the massive floor in this market as we saw here. So let's look at the FTSE. So FTSE as well, this just got way out of hand on, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And today we pull back significantly. We will most likely drop towards the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks or the 7,000 um, level breaks, they will most likely drop towards the bottom here at 6,827. That's probably as far as this will go. Technical indicators are all turning around. We have enough pullback in the market. And uh, yes, that is just the minimum game as we saw it here. It can take a few days and then we rally again, probably on Friday, which usually is the day where everything technically rallies. So let's look at the China 100, not 50. So, yes, um, we have been, it basically has been falling apart the last three days. We found major resistance here at the 50 moving average, and now it kind of is starting to show where this is basically going. If you don't get a massive rally here tomorrow if we continue to drop and we can drop towards 16,000 we can also drop towards 15,000 and uh, much lower than that technical indicators are looking dreadful for the china 50 uh, chinese stocks have been not performing very well uh, recently and uh, there are several reasons for that not due to the company but probably due to uh, state intervention in the marketplace which the marketplace doesn't really like so rallies from here mostly find resistance at the 20 and the 50 moving average, uh, but this is not looking really good for the China 50. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell to see our new videos, and uh, good luck and thank you very much.